Yo, welcome back to Indigo Drone. Today, I want to talk a little bit about the Blackmagic Micro Cinema Camera G2 version on top of my QAV Pro Lifter Drone. I want to do a little bit of testing, get my settings dialed in, and see how this camera performs on a drone such as this. And I think the shots I'm going to be able to get are going to be immaculate. So let's get right into this. This could be us. So back to what I was saying. So the first thing I want to do to this camera is protect it. So I buy an XLCS cage in order to achieve that. This cage allows you to attach different peripherals and a still attach a cinema lens such as this 8mm that you see here. Which gives me very cinematic footage when I'm in the air. That footage can be taken at a resolution as high as 12-bit 4K60 all in the size of a form factor of a tennis ball. But in order to save that footage for future post-processing, you're gonna need a high-speed drive like the recommended T5 or T7 from Samsung. Now because I put this on an FPV Cinelifter, I chose to put a wide-angle lens such as this 8mm Meek lens because it allows me to manually focus and expose the shot whenever necessary before I even do it in post-processing. I'm also going to be using the stock batteries that this came with because they last long enough for me to get a few flights in before I got to change them out or start charging them. I'd like to say I kept this camera mostly stocked, except for those few accessories that I said I added on here, which are necessary for the functionality of this camera. Most of these things that I added on here were necessary to get this camera up and working properly. And by properly, I mean working at all. You're going to need a lens. You're going to need a drive, you're going to need batteries, and you're going to need a monitor. But after that, you finally spent close to about 2K on this camera, and then you can start using it. Alright, let's check out these settings. Now there have been many differences of opinion on this navigation system, but to me, it's not too bad. Once you get used to it, you just struggle less. So, my settings are set up properly. I'm at 30 frames a second. My shutter's at one over 60. My gain is at 12 dB. I believe this camera goes down to about 400 ISO. I think that's what it is. Don't quote me. My white balance is at 6,500 Kelvin. I could potentially lower that, but it's because it's very bright outside right now. And then my tint is 10. I could lower or brighten that, but I just won't. I'll leave it there. That's the stock setting, and it looks pretty good right now. So I think these are going to be my standard settings. At 30 frames a second, 1 over 160. These have been giving me pretty good results, especially in the air when you're moving very fast. But if I want to catch some slow-mo, I'll change this to 60 frames a second and this to 1 over 120. And because this camera has a manual aperture, I can adjust the exposure as needed. So I can make it brighter or darker. So that means I'll just keep the gain at negative 12 dB or like 400 or so ISO and then adjust the aperture as needed. I've got a weight, weight on my shoulders, taking me back to when I was younger. I'm trying my best over and over, but I am so scared to let go, so I'm taking it slow. Cause I just cannot take it no more Maybe just a little drama Or maybe just a little drama I've had in the past And I'm just getting crazy Maybe just a little broken Or maybe I just gotta open myself Baby, I swear Yeah, I got my reasons You just don't understand Yeah, I put my Put my cards down in the way that I just 
the video please don't forget to leave a like and a comment and subscribe to my page for any future content I create peace yeah, I got my